Well, after college, I went to, I had this wonderful fellowship and I went abroad to Eastern Europe to and Central Europe to think about um, like Yiddish culture revival and dance and music and these kind of singing communities that formed. Um, and this was a Watson? Watson Fellowship. Um, and again, like an enormous stroke of ridiculous luck to get. And so I just, I kind of, I packed up and I left for, for 12 months and, um, you know, in doing this kind of participant observation, you also learn about song and dance. And I had never been a dancer. Um, I had I had sung most of my life in choirs, and I really enjoyed singing. My mother sings as well. Um, but my parents didn't want me to do dance as a kid because what was available was, uh, like, a ballet and girls wear fluffy pink tutus. My parents were not, were not into that. Um, and so I just was kind of, like, not allowed to dance, I guess. Like, I mean, it wasn't something they encouraged me to do. Um, so getting into this dance world, I had a really strong music background. So I had good rhythm. I had a good sense of like what, like, I don't know, sometimes I think people, people come to dance and it's really hard for them to just kind of like hold a beat, but I actually could do that. And then so learning this whole new this new art form and this new way to like be with other people um, and to do something that is related to Yiddish language but is not language um, was thrilling. And so that's something I've actually really, I've, I've tried to keep up now that I live outside of New York where it's enormously diff difficult to find these kind of cultural um, circles. But when I was in New York, I was regularly going to Yiddish dance workshops and I took a dance leader training. Um, and did some kind of zingerai type of stuff, um, and so that also became kind of a way that I, a way that I related to Yiddish outside of outside of language and literature, um, and that's something I'd like to get back into. It's 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 tough on, in the Pacific Northwest, um, but um, but it's something that I try to keep up with. And I went to Klez Canada a few times, and um, I think that the dance and also just like other folk dance styles, I. I Spent a year in Romania a couple of years ago as a postdoc and did Romanian folk dance classes with my friend and felt like there are so many great similarities here. This is something I can do. This is something that's so, so fun for me.